2011 was another outstanding year for the City of North Richland Hills. Employees in all city departments worked hard throughout the year to provide excellent services and programs for our community, and the city was honored with several awards. Following is a look back at many accomplishments that made the past year memorable. E-Mortgage Logic relocated to North Richland Hills, bringing 150 full-time professional jobs to the community with plans to double in size. The company provides a web-based property appraisal system to the real estate industry. It is located at 9151 Boulevard 26. The library was awarded an Achievement of Excellence Award from the Texas Municipal Library Directors Association. North Richland Hills Library was one of 27 libraries statewide that demonstrated excellence in programs, services, literary support, and operations. The Finance Department was presented a Certificate of Achievement for Excellence in Financial Reporting from the Government Finance Officers Association. The award recognizes the City's conformance with the highest standards for preparation of government financial reports. This is the 27th year in a row the City has received the award. The City was also presented a Distinguished Buzzing Presentation Award from the Governmental Finance Officers Association. This is the 21st consecutive year the city has received this award. The Community Emergency Response Team launched a new website at nrhcert.org. The website provides information about CERT training and activities as well as emergency preparedness. The new website was made possible by grant funding. The city approved a new regulating and zoning plan for the remaining 93 acres in the hometown NRH development. The plan will allow for a combination of single-family homes, townhomes, apartments, and commercial buildings to be constructed on vacant property east of the hometown lakes. The plan was approved after more than 10 months of study, 18 public meetings, and a settlement agreement with the developers. NRH Center was selected as the name for the city's new recreation center. The facility is under construction next to the public library. It will include recreational and fitness components, indoor aquatics, a banquet hall, and senior center. Construction of the NRH Center is expected to be completed in April 2012. The Parks and Recreation Department was presented an Arts and Humanities Award from the Texas Recreation and Park Society. The award recognizes the success of the department's arts exploration program. 2010 census results released by the federal government showed growth of nearly 14% in North Richland Hills over the past decade. North Richland Hills continues to be the third largest city in Tarrant County and the largest community in Northeast Tarrant County. North Richland Hills celebrated the grand opening of the Common Ground Community Garden. The garden provides residents an opportunity to grow their own produce and also benefits local charities. The garden was made possible thanks to the support of Davis Memorial United Methodist Church, the Home Depot, and more than 100 community volunteers. The city successfully petitioned the post office to allow the use of North Richland Hills for addresses in the 76117 and 76148 zip codes. The change has helped to clear up confusion about what city these properties are located in and helps residents to feel more included in North Richland Hills. The City of North Richland Hills competed with the City of Hearst to see which community could get the most participants in the Susan G. Komen Race for the Cure. The friendly competition helped raise funds for breast cancer research. The Randy Morrissey Trail was officially dedicated in honor and recognition of the many contributions Mr. Morrissey has made to the community. This new hike and bike trail is located along Callaway Creek, next to North Hills Hospital. It provides leisure and fitness opportunities to area residents, as well as hospital patients, visitors, and staff. With the opening of this trail, North Richland Hills now has 21 miles of trails in its park system. The city amended its code of ordinances to allow for certain temporary signs during roadway construction. The signs will be limited in size and location and will only be allowed to assist customers in getting to and from businesses impacted by the North Terran Express Highway Construction Project. The Public Works Department brought home four trophies from the Regional Equipment Rodeo. Through this competition, employees demonstrated driving skills and expertise in handling public works equipment. City employees and community volunteers participated in a neighborhood initiative Fix-It Blitz to help elderly and disabled residents with needed home repairs and yard work. The city's website was redesigned, giving it a new look, streamlined navigation, and content management system. The site also features a new citizen request tracker, allowing residents to easily report issues such as potholes or graffiti from the internet or their iPhone. Keep NRH Beautiful was honored as a Keep Texas Beautiful Gulf Star affiliate. 
This recognition is given to those communities who go above and beyond established Keep Texas Beautiful requirements. Only 55 communities across the state achieve the Gold Star status. Keep NRH Beautiful Commission member Diane Spradling was also recognized at the state level as the third place winner of the Keep Texas Beautiful Volunteer of the Year. The North Richland Hills Police and Fire Departments hosted their first annual Hanging with the Heat summer camp. This free camp was geared toward economically disadvantaged middle school students. The goal of the camp was to enrich and develop the lives of children through positive interaction, team building exercise, sports, and other activities. The Viper Ride made its world debut at NRH2O Family Water Park. The new ride and a record heat wave propelled NRH2O to one of its best years ever. At a time when other cities are closing pools and water parks due to budgetary constraints, NRH2O is paying its own operating and capital expenses as well as setting aside money for future projects. The North Richland Hills Police Department updated its patrol cars with a new design scheme. The new blue and silver design maintains the NRH sense of identity, yet provides a popular retro police cruiser appearance. Reflective decals were also incorporated to provide optimum officer safety. The city updated its ordinance regulating home-based businesses. The updates address the types of businesses that can operate out of a home, the appearance of the property, traffic and parking, outdoor assembly, and storage of business supplies. The Purchasing Division earned a 2011 Achievement of Excellence in Procurement Award from the National Purchasing Institute. This award is presented to those organizations that meet and exceed certain criteria for public procurement. Only 35 government agencies in Texas and 57 cities in the United States received this award. NRH2O Family Water Park was recognized by TripAdvisor as one of the top 10 water parks in the United States. The best water parks were selected from travelers' recommendations. NRH2O placed seventh and was the only water park in Texas to make the list. NRH2O was also recognized by water parks and resorts today as one of the top five municipal water parks. NRH2O ranked third on that list, which included municipal water parks from across the nation. The city entered into a new partnership with the Community Enrichment Center for the Neighborhood Initiative Program. This volunteer-based program was created in 2003 to help low-income, elderly, and disabled residents with needed home repairs and property maintenance. While the program has been successful, it's believed it can be even more successful by partnering with a nonprofit organization. With Texas experiencing extreme drought conditions, North Richland Hills joined other communities in implementing mandatory water conservation measures. The city also adopted a new tiered water rate structure to encourage conservation. Under the new structure, customers who use less water are rewarded with lower rates. Customers who use more water, especially for irrigation, move to a higher tier and pay higher rates. The North Richland Hills Police Department raised its crime prevention efforts to a higher level with the purchase of a Skywatch observation tower. The tower is being utilized in commercial districts and at special events to provide officers the best possible view of the surrounding area. Purchase of the tower was partially funded by a state grant. Police Officer Tom Cleveland brought home four trophies from the 2011 World Police and Fire Games. The competition is held every two years and is one of the biggest amateur athletic events in the world. The North Richland Hills Public Library grew to more than 200,000 volumes for the first time, and library circulation reached an all-time high of 840,667. At 13.25 circulation transactions per capita, that's over three times the state average. A new counseling space was created at the library to accommodate the Small Business Development Center. The center is an SBA-sponsored business counseling agency that provides no-cost guidance to the area's entrepreneurial community. The library also continues its long-standing relationship with SCORE Business Counseling. Together, these agencies provide valuable resources for local businesses and economic development. Keep NRH Beautiful sponsored the I Dig My Garden photo contest to spotlight the beauty of local gardens and the community. More than 70 entries were received. Winners were recognized at a city council meeting and on the city's website. A change was made to the city's park hours, allowing residents to use parks and trails as early as 5 a.m. The change provides more flexibility for residents with busy schedules and for those who want to get an early morning start before it gets too hot outside. The parks and trails close at 11 p.m. unless otherwise posted. City employees participated in the Tarrant County Heart Walk helping raise funds for the American Heart Association. North Richland Hills was honored with a Scenic City Certification Award. This award recognizes cities that implement high-quality scenic standards for public roadways and public spaces. 
Lumberton Hills is one of only 16 cities in Texas to be awarded a Scenic City certification in 2011. City employees and community volunteers participated in the Fall Fix-It Blitz to help elderly and disabled residents with needed home repairs and yard work. The Police Department Traffic Section was awarded 10 trophies at the 13th Annual Gulf Coast Police Motorcycle Skills Championship. This event provides training in advanced motorcycle skills and techniques and also raises funds for St. Jude's Children's Research Hospital. Senior Park Planner Joe Pack was awarded the Park Professional of the Year Award at the Texas Recreation and Park Society's Regional Conference. The award recognizes outstanding accomplishments in the field of park planning and maintenance as well as contributions to the Texas Recreation and Park Society. Thomas Powell, Director of Fleet Services, was recognized by the Birdville Independent School District as an outstanding business partner for 2011-2012. Over the past 20 years, Mr. Powell has served on the school district's advisory committee and School to Work Coalition. He also founded a scholarship golf tournament that has raised $192,000. The Economic Development Department hosted its 20th Annual Business Appreciation Luncheon with Texas Comptroller Susan Combs as the guest speaker. Contractors began working on Loop A20 frontage roads and underpasses in North Richland Hills as part of the North Terran Express project. This is a state project to rebuild and widen 13 and a half miles of Loop A20 and Airport Freeway. The project is expected to be completed in 2015. The widening and reconstruction of North Tarrant Parkway progressed throughout the year and is expected to be completed in early 2012. This project is funded by the City of North Richland Hills, the City of Keller, and Tarrant County with the county covering approximately 65% of the cost. North Richland Hills consolidated its jail operations with Tulsum City, Richland Hills, and Watauga to save money and improve efficiency. The four communities also agreed to consolidate dispatch operations starting in April 2012. The consolidation is expected to save each city more than $260,000 in annual operating costs. In addition, the cities will benefit from sharing information about public safety activities and trends in their communities. City employees donated more than $30,000 for the United Way of Tarrant County. The donation reflects the compassion that NRH employees have for our community. The North Richland Hills Police Department received recognized status from the Texas Police Chiefs Association. To receive recognized status, the department must meet or exceed 162 best practices in law enforcement. This recognition assures the City Council, City Management, and citizens that their police department is operating under current best practices of law enforcement. Of more than 2,000 police departments in the state, only 51 have received this honor. 2011 was certainly a busy and eventful year in the city of North Richland Hills. We hope you enjoyed this look back and will continue to tune in to City Cable NRH as we bring you more great news about the city of North Richland Hills during 2012. Thanks for watching.